Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So before we get started with this video, which by the title you can tell this is a feminine hygiene routine, I did just want to say thank you to all my returning subscribers and a special thank you to my new subscribers. I'm so glad that you guys are here and I do appreciate the support, but I don't want to ramble too much, so let's go ahead and get to the video. Hey guys, so I'll typically start it off any way that I would usually start off my shower routines. I am actually going to light a candle um, to start this particular routine. I don't have the direct link to this candle, I just got it from like a spa, but if you find like a rhubarb scarlet candle, I'm probably sure it will smell the same. Anyways, I'm going to go and get that lit and get the mood set. So now that I have everything together and set to show you guys what I use for my feminine hygiene routine, I'm going to go ahead and hop into the shower and start with my face wash, which if you guys haven't seen my facial or my skincare routine, I'll link it up at the top for you guys to reference. But I do wash my face in the shower just because I feel like it's easiest and my hands are clean at that point. Then I'll go in with my Honey Pot Sensitive Foaming Wash, which I find to be absolutely amazing. It does just what it needs to do and is sensitive enough on my skin. I also use a Love Wellness pH Balancing Cleanser. I know the text is like gone, but I do. But I do go in with the pH Balancing Cleanser after I finish with the Honey Pot, and I just feel like this mixture works really well for me to keep me as fresh as possible and as long as possible. Then that is just the Dr. Bronner's Almond Soap. It's the Castile Soap. So I go all over my body with that. You could use this anywhere. I typically use it all over my body. You could also use this in any kind of like sensitive part. Um, but I do wash all over my body to get myself nice and clean and ready for the next step, which is exfoliating. So I'm deciding between which one and I wanted to keep this like coconut theme. So I did the coconut milk and body scrub, which I will link the um, product down in the description box for this, but I really love this exfoliator because it has like an oiliness to it. Not gross, but it does leave my skin feeling obviously like exfoliated, but moisturized at the same time. So I love it for both the matcha and the coconut, but I'm just going to go ahead and finish exfoliating and I'll check in with you guys here in the next step. Now that I've finished exfoliating up top, I'm going to get my gloves, which I had the hardest time trying to get like the tag or whatever that is off, as you can tell. Um, but I'm going to use these exfoliating gloves on the bottom half just because I feel like that skin is not like rough. Like I don't have crocodile skin, but it, I just, I feel like it gets it softer as opposed to the top of my body, which I feel like the skin is a bit more sensitive. So that's just what I do um, just to keep myself feeling soft and pretty. Um, so I just go in with the exfoliating glove and the body scrub of your choice. In this case, I just did coconut and then I scrub all of the bottom half. And then after I'm done with that, I'll take my Naturium, which is my tried and true shower product, um, salicylic acid perfecter body wash. And I'll get my brush and just scrub that all over. This just makes my skin feel really smooth and even. And I just, I'm, I'm obsessed with it. So now that every other part of my body is addressed, I'm going to go ahead and address the backside, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to take my Dove and put that on my washcloth, which is strictly dedicated to that part of my body. Only do one pass first, which I didn't close it all the way. Then I'll go in again and do another wash just to make sure that it's thoroughly clean. Once I finish with that, I'm going to take my Method Coconut Body Wash, which this has been one of my favorites recently. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get my loofah, get that lathered up and get myself suds all over to kind of keep up with the coconut theme, which I'm loving by the way. I'm actually excited for summer. Y'all tell me if there are any scents that you prefer for the summer, but I think mine has to be coconut. So transitioning out of the shower, so I'm going to take my Lubriderm, which is my favorite lotion because it keeps me moisturized literally all day long. If you are not team Lubriderm, you should start to be. Now that I'm done lathering up, I'm going to go ahead and take my boric acid suppositories and insert them where they need to be inserted. Um, this I typically do after my period or if I feel like I just need an overall refresh and I think it just keeps me feeling my best. 
Continuing with the coconut thing, I'm going to take this oil, which I found this hack on TikTok. I should have probably known about it earlier, but I'm going to rub that into the palm of my hand and finish lotioning the top half of my body. So I'm just squeezing this, uh, the lotion in, rubbing that into the oil, and then just massaging that into my skin, which makes the scent last so much longer. So if you don't know that, now you know, start combining your perfume oils and your lotions together. This might be overkill, but I just, I didn't care. I needed to smell like a pina colada. So I'm going to go ahead and unscrew my body butter. This is the coconut vanilla scent. Um, and I'm just going to kind of lock in all of that moisture from the lotion and the oils and make sure that my skin is as moisturized as possible. Just because I think it keeps me feeling, again, soft, pretty, and just overall very feminine. Now that this skin is addressed, I'm going to do my underarms, which I'm using the glycolic acid by The Ordinary, and I think it's a perfect toner, but I also think it's great. It's like a deodorizer, so I do use that prior to applying my actual deodorant, which I use the Dove um, deodorant. It kind of varies. I use a variety of deodorants, but today I just stuck with the Dove. Now that I'm done, I'm going to transition into the next part of the process. Okay, so dental health is so important for me. I need to make sure that my breath smells fresh at all times and that my smile looks nice, but I'm going to take my dental products and I'll kind of walk you through what it is that I use, but first brushing my teeth. Um, I kind of do this at any point in the day, but obviously in the morning, but if I feel like I need to, just to make sure that I'm not offending anybody, I'll brush my teeth whenever I can or whenever I see fit. So I'll go in with that, and then once I'm done brushing my teeth, I'll take a little bit of my Listerine, which I keep in this carafe, and then I'll just get that swished around. All right, so now that the breath is minty fresh, I'm going to take my flossers, which I got these from Amazon, but you can really get them from anywhere. Just flush in my teeth to make sure that there's anything that's missed. It is out, and then I'm going to take my tongue scraper, which I've recently started to use these, not necessarily because I felt like I had to, but just like as an extra like precaution. And I just, I, f I feel cleaner that way. Now that oral hygiene is taken care of, I'm going to go and wash my hands before I wash my face, which you should always do because you don't want to touch your face with any dirty fingers. And not in this case, like they're not necessarily dirty, I just, I, I'm very protective of the skin on my face. <laughs> so I'll wash my hands and get started on skincare and I'm just going to let my hyaluronic acid sit on my face and pick out my perfume. Today I did want to keep it as feminine and girly as possible, so I chose these two scents. With I don't have any coconut dedicated perfumes, but they both smell very sweet and feminine, so I thought it kept up with the theme. And then I'll just finish out with my skincare. Now that I am done with skincare, I'll take my underwear and spray it with the honey pot panty spray just for added freshness and I am set for the day. This isn't necessarily part of my feminine hygiene routine, but it does kind of help me like pull it all together and just make me feel as put together as possible. I'll just adjust my eyebrows and my eyelashes and get them just like under control.
Once everything is put together, I'm just gonna tidy it up with my edges. I'll go in with my edge brush and get that gelled down. And then as an extra step, I do wash my edge brush every time I use it, just to prevent from any additional like product buildup or irritation on my skin. I wish I could stay, but the seasons are changing. I'm gone. As an extra step to my feminine hygiene routine, I do have a juice that I like to make, which just consists of cranberry juice, seltzer, pineapple juice, and lemon. Once you like stop struggling to open the bottle of cranberry juice, I'll show you guys how to make it. When it's always yours, but even when I leave, I fall. So I just put some ice cubes in there and then get everything really just thrown in. I'd probably say it's about a cup of cranberry juice, quarter cup of pineapple juice, a squeeze of lemon, and then like a splash of seltzer. Cranberry juice or just cranberries in general have a variety of beneficial properties, one of which is keeping your girl's pH level in check, which is so, so important because sometimes it could just get thrown off by the wind. So I do try to make sure I keep that as a regular part of my hygiene routine. I also take these Azo cranberry pills just like as an added step and these Ollie Beauty vitamins to tie it up. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you guys took something away from it to add into your routines. Be sure to like the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe and I will see you guys later.